Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Chillax here. Welcome back to more Face Day Night. Real to new Unlimited Blade Works. Last time we left off... Getting a bad end where <clears throat> we uh, refused Lancer's help and uh, got murdered by Archer <laughs> after Rin abandoned us to go fight Caster one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, her fate is uh, unknown. But Shiro is uh, definitely dead. But now we must make the choice to accept Lancer's help. Now, I just want to make a disclaimer here. I know the correct choice. Whatever. Let's do this. <clears throat> we have to accept his offer. Yeah, we do. Even if he's an enemy, he's still right. Tosika and I can't beat Caster. But we might have a chance if Lancer's with us. But... けど条件付きだ。キャスターを倒すために手を貸してもらうし、俺たちもお前を信用する。うん。その代わり。その代わりなんだ。俺のマスターを教えろってか。No, that that would be the logical thing to to wonder, but um. 違う。仲間だからって、キヨスク倒さかには近いような。Uh, you're a funny guy. Dude, some of these things I know are coming, but they're still fucking hilarious. The air freezes. <laughs> Lance... <laughs> Lancer is speechless. Like he's been sucker punched. Yeah, fair. なるほど、なるほど。そりゃそうだ。俺のマスターなんぞより、そっちの方が何倍も重要だよな、ボズ。I guess so. He starts laughing heartily. なんだよ、悪いか。言っとくけど、トウサカはやらないからな。シロ、いいっすよ。まさか悪くなんかね。むしろ見直したところだ。<laughs> Hang on. Shiro, you are a, um... You are one of a kind. Yeah, he is. あんた、私と白はそうなんじゃないわよ。その、そう。私たちは、ただの協力関係なんだから。いや、いや、of That'd be making him a liar. だから、本当も何も特にできあがってんだよ、お前たち。旗から見てる俺でさえわかるのに、当の本人たちがごまかしてるだな。ああ、これはこの先も大変だぞ、少年。いやいや、she I dismiss his sympathy with a sour look. Oh, sorry, I don't know. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 
<笑>ダガマ、からかうと面白い嬢ちゃんなんだな。道中楽しませてはもらうぜ。それぐらいの見返りは構わねえだろ。ゴーヘッド。わかった。その線で行こう。キャスターを倒すまであんたの力を借り
あの野郎は苦手だできれば一対一でもやり合いたくはねえあの手のやつは遠くから仕留めるに限るがまあその心配は不要だなアサシンは教会には現れないうんどうしてそう断言できるのよキャスターが竜道寺に戻らないなら門番としてアサシンだって呼び戻すんじゃないのいやアサシンはキャスターが呼び出したサーバントだがそれゆえに制約がある奴はあの場所そのものに呼び出された英霊だ竜道寺を離れることはできんし何よりキャスターが呼び戻さんだろうあれはキャスターがマスターに黙って独断で召喚したサーバントだマスターが教会にいる以上は隠し通すしおいそれと竜道寺を手放すこともできまい竜道寺を手放せないそれってつまり聖杯の召喚場所があの山だからだろうな知っているか聖杯戦争は今回で5回目だが聖杯が呼び出される土地は4カ所あるそのうちの一つが竜道寺であり教会でもあるわけだ So obviously know that, but like is ever mentioned where the other two are? ちなみに3回目の召喚場所は教会だったらしい4回目はどこぞの平地だったそうだ OK a plane somewhere Last one? へえ戦ってれば幸せみたいな人だと思ったけど意外に物知りなんだあなた That's a bit rude 単にマスターが小難しいやつなだけだお前たちの事情に関心があるわけじゃないふんーけどそっかじゃあ今回の召喚場所って1回目と同じ場所に戻ったってことなのねあいやあいやすタウサカスタッチとポンダーランサーウォッチスウィッドライトウォッチオンインドダークフォーレスト The date has already changed. The day should be dawning by the time we get out of this forest. I mentally prepare myself as I walk. We'll fight Castor again in a few hours. I won't hesitate, even if that girl would have turned into our enemy by then. We'll defeat Castor. I have to tell myself that's the most important thing right now. We head to the battlefield. No matter what may be waiting us at the church,、uh, waiting us at the church at daybreak, cannot stop now. Let's go, Shiro. Let's go, man. Night, stay night. Before that, there's just one more conversation. Just as they exit the forest, and when the sky is beginning to lighten up, Before they go to the church, she informs him of the fact she's kept hidden. I'm going to go to the church. 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 And the fact that you, 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 you know. The one and only pendant. The one he found in her room and returned to her. The one he found on that night and put into his desk. Now's not the time to ask about the contradiction. シロがランサーに刺されたあの日にね私はてっきりあいつが拾ってきてくれたものだと思ってたけど The decisive battle is near The tall church can be seen in the horizon Wait, does she mention that in the anime? I don't feel like she does I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this conversation happens when she's treating his wounds and putting the, 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 the seal thing on him so he can 
sort of act like a servant, but not really. Like, she can't really order him around, but she can give him magical energy. I feel like that's when she talks about that. Tosika says she wants to confirm one last time. Or, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's, no. No, she does that after fighting Archer, no. No, she talks to... Yeah. No, she just talks when treating his wounds. Right, no, the, 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 the magic seal thing to share energy is after that, is after the Archer fight before Gilgamesh. I think. I don't know, it's been two years. <laughs> uh, our roles are already set. Lancer will draw Archer and Saber away from Caster. We'll use that opening to attack Caster. Lancer asks ironically if we'd be able to if we would be able to beat her by ourselves. To that. Yeah, because uh, old school Magus such as herself would not expect you to get close range and <laughs> fight with your fists. Which is fair to be honest. Uh, Scott answers with confidence. I don't know what she means by outwitting her. She didn't tell us even when we asked, so it must be a plan that still has- that, that will have a lower success rate if we know about it. Then, what I need to do is fulfill Tosca's demand. With all my might, I'll keep Kuski from protecting Caster. If I need them, I'll project his swords as many times as necessary. I close my eyes and dive inside myself. The magic circuit inside of me is stable. Magic beyond one's ability will destroy the caster. Half of my body became numb the first time. It was easy, and nothing happened to me the second time. There's no guarantee the third time will be the same, but I don't think it's a problem to project his swords. My body is stable. The magic circuit that was already even to construct is easily activated now. It's like there's a fake nerve behind my real nerves, and they are they are reversible with the push of a button. I'm trying to convince myself that's because I've gotten used to it. I can easily prepare the swords. Projection has become my primary weapon. It's a big improvement over ten days ago. Yep. It's not only my magic. My sword technique has improved as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The reason behind it. No. I try not to think about the reason. It's more important to be caster and take back Saber. Asking myself stupid questions can come after the battle. Mm -hmm. The headache gets stronger as I near the church. It's just like when I was looking for Tosika. But I avoid thinking about that. The morning light is gray. The sun is blocked off by clouds, obscuring the dawn's brightness. The sky above is gloomy. The sky is more gray than black, and it reminds me of that time ten years ago. It should rain soon. An impure gray sky. Beneath it stands that man. He stares at her with cool eyes. Tosika doesn't say, say anything and stares back at him. それで。用意した策は何だ。何の手立てもなしで勝負を挑む君ではあるまい。ああ、とりあえず、てめえの相手はこの俺だ。驚いたな。私を失い。数日と経たずに新しいサーバントと契約したか。なっ、怖い。やれやれ。私もそうだが、君の移り気もなかなかのものだ。これは。たもとを分かった正解だったかな。構わないわしろ。あいつの挑発になんか乗らないで。She <clears throat> stops me. Still staring at Archer. But it's obvious looking at her face. She knows he's baiting her. 
but his words still hurt. I don't remember. Does Lancer die before finding out who Archer is in this? I'm pretty sure he does. Well, no, because he's there when Archer says, I have business with Emyashiro. But I guess you might assume that it's just because he has a dislike for him. Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember if it's... I don't think it's ever specifically said to him, though. お。裏切りは勘に触るか、ランサー。自分が裏切られたわけでもないのに、リーチギなことだ。別にお嬢ちゃんに肩入れする気はねえよ。単に あのキャスターでさえ、そんなくだらないものを持っていてな。死したみで今さら、何の栄誉を守るというのだ。ああ、やな、I um, There's no more need for words. All that remains is the intent to kill. With Lancer's sharp and Archer's calm. They're about 10 meters apart. The confrontation of the knights in blue and red is just like that night. Nansa? Tosuka calls out to the blue back. <laughs> Oh, but unfortunately, Kirei doesn't let that happen. As soon as Archer's beaten, he gets called back. I'm <sighs> What was she actually gonna say? Wait, maybe he does know. That would be interesting. Because the, the way the way Rin starts her sentence, right? But Lancer Archer is so either So, okay, at this point, obviously, Rin is clearly, like, 100% aware who Archer is. But, and the way she starts this, it seems as if she's gonna tell Lancer. So, I wonder... How do I put this? I feel... I feel Lancer's willing to go easy. Be no, because in the- I remember now. Because in the anime, Lancer says, Don't you have a hero's pride? Well, when they're fighting. Or like, doesn't he- Don't you have some sort of pride? Which you'd think... Mm, he would know if he knew it. Mm, I don't know. It's so hard to say. He speaks without turning. Grinning at Archer. Arigato. I feel like he does now. Because... Lance, like, like, Lancer isn't dumb. I feel... Ah, man. I know I'm going on about this, but like... The way she starts that sentence, and an archer, or Lancer cuts her off... Makes me think he knows... And that he's said, like, the, the reason he's willing to go easy is because it's Shiro. Like, that's that, like, that, that makes sense to me at least. But again, it's never specifically said that he knows. As far as I'm aware. So it's like, I don't know. We go around the two as we head to the church. 
the guard, Archer, lets us do unchallenged. No, he has to let us through. Archer's already confronting Lancer. Lancer will pierce him if he lets us distract them. He can either attack us and give himself open to Lancer, or he can fight Lancer and let us go. If he really is guarding this place, choice should be obvious. We run around to the courtyard and open the door to the church without hesitation. Behind us. なにがだランサ。いや、何。あんな顔で霊を言われた日には手抜きもできねえ。ああ。そういうの困るだろ。おい、それとあるじは裏切れない身としちゃ。少しばかり眩しいってもんだ。ああ、随分と甘いのだな
I'm relieved we made it. But on the other hand, I'm worried about why she's so quiet. I think Saber was in pain before. She was shivering and gasping, resisting Caster's magic with all her might. But she's dead silent now. I have a bad feeling. It's great that Assassin's not here, but if this bad feeling comes true, we won't get out of here alive. Nice, Rin. Nice. Kawasaka insults Caster, hoping to break her composure. She slowly closes the distance between them as she talks, radiating confidence she probably doesn't feel. I shouldn't be concerned about Saber either. Tasuka is facing, is facing Caster by going counterclockwise, so I walk clockwise. Caster and Kuski. If we are to separate them, we have to attack them from different sides and isolate our enemies. Hmm. <laughs> Tosaka's insults must have worked, as Caster's glaring at her. I move while she does so. I move to the other side of Tosaka, to a place where I can attack Caster from behind. Kuzuki watches me in silence. I thought so. There's no way that this man would not notice our trick. Kuzuki knows what's going on. That we're trying to isolate our enemies, and that Tuska has some plan. Even with that in mind, he's letting Caster do as she wishes. It's not that Kuzuki is controlled by Caster. He's acting of his own free will. But still, his passivity is like that of a puppet. A servant skilled in magic is the backup, and a master skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Their roles are reversed, and I think their natures are reversed as well. Caster seeks to hold the Grail frantically, while the master protects her without question. Yeah, they have a bit of an odd relationship. <laughs> uh, that makes me think. What if Caster was the master? And Kuzuki was the servant who protected her. Maybe they wouldn't have fallen so low if that were the case. Tosaka glances at me. It means our positions are perfect. Then, the match will be settled when either one of us attacks. It doesn't matter if we, if we get defeated, or if Tosaka beats Caster before that. Our fight will end right here. それじゃ始めましょうか。あなたとのこぜり合いもこれで3度目。いい加減ここで肩をつけてあげる。I highly doubt that. So, I'm not going to be i they get ready at the same time. With a few meters between them, they act like mirror images. That's the signal. I attack the defenseless caster. And of course, I'm stopped by Kuzuki. 
all according to plan so far. The ghost like assassin is in front of me. I can't spare any attention for Castor and Tusker's fight. He knows what I intend to do. He will not let me buy time. Letting out the snake that even cornered Saber, Kuski Suichiro comes to take my life. I can hold him off for a minute at most. It should be the same for Tosaka. But originally, with our opponents reversed, we had no chance of victory. Close range fighting or magic. We have no way to beat our opponents who surpass us in skill. But looking at it the other way, we can at least put up a fight. Tosca would be killed in an instant if she fought Kuzuki. I would be killed in an instant if I fought Caster. In contrast, we might not be able to win, but we won't be killed in an instant with this matchup. Yeah? So in other words, this battle is not how to, about how to beat one's opponent. Instead, this is a contest to see how long you can hold off an opponent of superior skill. Interlude? Interlude, okay. The two weapons clash. Twin swords and lance. The attacks are executed to take their wielders necks. There's no hesitation in those attacks. Each strike is meant to kill. Even Lancer makes no exceptions. Even though he told Tosaka Rin, his ally, that he would go he would that he would go easy. That becomes secondary once the battle starts. It merely means that if his lance happens to miss Archer's heart, and if it does not kill him instantly, he will refrain from finishing Archer off on the spot. Uh, yeah, fair, fair fair enough. Even in that case, his enemy will his enemy will die. But Lancer just needs to drag him to Tosaka Rin before that happens. <laughs> Uh, savage. Lancer doesn't care what happens after that. <clears throat> the red demonic lance invades the enemy territory. The lance breaks through Archer's defense each time it is thrust. It's not like that knight. Archer could not block Lancer's attacks now as he could then. It's only natural. This is their second battle. Lancer was under the command of Spell's Bind. To learn his enemy's strengths, his master told Lancer, That is the only order he was given. He has followed such an unreasonable command. And this is his first battle without any binds. Therefore, it cannot be like the last battle. There's nothing binding Lancer. And Archer is now forced to fight the fastest heroic spirit. <clears throat> A strained voice escapes Archer's mouth. Even his hawk like eyes cannot follow Lancer's spear. Lance's movement is a point to start with. And it is a flash of light now. He cannot discern the Lance coming at him. Even Lance's movements are becoming invisible now. <coughs> he has been able to block such attacks until now because he had experienced them in a previous battle. He is doing what he can, using his inferiority as a weapon to block Lance's furious onslaught. He's controlling where the attacks come from. The knight in red limits the oncoming attacks by leaving fatal openings. Of course, he'll die if he doesn't dodge the attacks. Yeah? <laughs> but if he can choose between instant death and getting slowly cut up, he prefers to risk instant death. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll all, it all will have been for nothing. Fortunately, Lancer is still taking Archer lightly. Or rather, he's lost in the joy of battle. If they are to keep on assaulting each other like this, he can think of another th of another 30 ways to show an opening. 
prediction using the information obtained, planning using cultivated battle experience. Those are the nerves of steel, the mind's eye that one obtains through training. This is nothing extraordinary. This is the only skill he possesses. It's not innate like Saber's instinct, but it is a simple weapon that anyone can gain through hard work. Uh huh. Well, Lancer doesn't look pleased. Lancer backs off and stops for a bit. He looks to Red Archer over as though dissatisfied. It's obvious he's going to win. Archer has no chance of victory in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's been obvious from the start. If Archer is an archer like his name states, this cannot be a match unless he's shooting from a long range. But still, he blocks the attacks. He is inferior and should, not, and should not last a few more blows, but he blocked Lancer's full force attacks. Is Archer strong? Or is Lancer going easy on him? He laughs. Archer's a mysterious servant. He can admit that Archer is strong in that regard. But it's unthinkable for Lancer to keep uh, to, to be going easy. The first attack was named was aimed at the neck to chop his head off. The second attack was aimed at the heart to destroy his body. He cannot be going easy. He shouldn't be, but. It is certainly true that he wasn't trying to kill Archer. How does one know that this sort of fight is serious? A battle between servants is a battle between noble phantasms. The fact that he is fighting Archer without using his is proof that he is going easy on him. The reason behind it... ...must be the thanks you heard earlier. <laughs> The weapons clash harder than before. The two spring apart in a shower of sparks. The full force attack by Lancer is nullified by the full force attack by Archer. They're about five meters apart. It is a distance Lancer can close in an instant. Gesen. Don't get what? The spearman in blue murmurs. Kisama. Okay, so you, uh, yeah, uh, he doesn't know, sure, I assume. Lancer stops emitting murderous intent, but there's no opening in his stance. At that, Archer smiles a bit. まだそんなことを口にするのか。リンがどう思うと、私はこれ以外の手段はないと判断した。He yeah. speaks confidently with no sign of guilt. Okay, so again, like like I've mentioned a million times at this point, I've seen the UBW anime, so I know him joining Caster was literally just a ruse for the most part, until he became disappointed that you know they didn't have a plan when it came here and that one bad end, and he was like, "You fucking kidding me?" And he was like, "Okay, well, but." I'm curious, how, how exactly does this give the highest probability of victory? I guess maybe because he felt that if him and Ren fought Castor and Kuzuki that in, when he was still with her, that maybe when Castor started to feel overwhelmed... She would use the command spell on Saber. And so... He decided... 
to do this, so like Caster would be like caught off or like would underestimate Ren and Shiro to humans and then would then be caught off guard by Archer, I suppose. But yeah, no, like, yeah, that makes sense. Because, like, even though Caster didn't like it, I guess if she started to get overwhelmed by Archer, she would have broken Saber immediately with the uh, with the second command spell. So, yeah, no, I guess it's understandable why he did this. Yeah, I never really thought about why he thought it was the best plan. Now, but now that I think about it, and now that now that they've seen the, the bad end where she used the other command spell on Saber to break her face, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. The knight in red shows no regret about betraying his master. So, Kayo. Tazaneta ordering a baka that does it. Archer agrees. Lancer snorts and slowly raises the tip of his lance. Tashkani omae wa iksa jozu da. Sono omae ga totta shudan naraba. Seize umak tachimaru da ro. Okay. His fighting spirit roars up. Even faced with this, the archer in red still smiles. Ah, I need to hold it. I don't in an instant, the slightly relaxed atmosphere changes. The air freezes. The magical energy to disturb the order of the world. The demonic lance that inverts cause and effect is raised. His murderous intent is incomparable to his previous ones. Though the tension must make it difficult, ev uh, difficult even to breathe. Yeah. The blue armored spearman growls in a voice that could drive the crows from a battlefield. Lancer jumps back at a great distance. It's no longer a matter of thrusting his lance. There are over a hundred meters between them now. Lancer leapt back to the dis to the entrance of the clearing and crouches on all fours like a beast. Archer's senses freeze. Is it fear or awe? Either way, Archer understands right away. The meaning of Lancer's retreat. Yep, that lance is about to be used as a spear. There is a difference. <laughs> He knows that his enemy's next attack is literally a fatal attack. Yeah? Huh? Lancer, with his limbs on the ground, raises his waist. It is just like a sprinter waiting for the signal to get, uh, for the signal gun. Archer has no reply to spare. The knight in red throws away his throws away his swords and immerses himself in his own mind. But will he make it? Lancer's posture. If his demonic lance is just like the legend, a noble phantasm to block it cannot be anything superficial. The blue panther runs. Even after, even his after image is a blur. Lancer speeds the archer like like a whirlwind. A whirlwind. There are a hundred meters between them. Lancer is not going to thrust his lance using that cold distance to gain speed. 
the blue figure crouches. After running 50 meters in an instant, the spearman suddenly leaps up from the ground. His body flies through the air. He holds the demonic lance, said to always pierce the heart once it is thrust over his head. Space distorts. According to legend, that lance scatters numerous spearheads once it is released. In other words, Gate! The lance of causality joins with the words to form a tapestry of action. The spearman in blue arches his back as if drawing a bow. And he smashes down the attack with a roar. This noble phantasm is a throwing attack by nature. A lance that never misses the heart. A cursed noble phantasm that cannot be, that cannot be avoided and will attack the enemy even if it misses. That is Gaibulg, Lance of Destruction possessed by the hero that never lost in his lifetime. As it is hurled using all of Lance's magical energy, it can be neither dodged nor blocked. Therefore, it is fatal. There is no way for anyone to survive once they are targeted by the Demonic Lance. The bullet approaches. In a split second, the knight in red closes his eyes, as if, accept as if accept uh, accepting his death. I am the bone on my soul. The thorn of light blazes forth. And right before the thorn of destruction, coming from the heavens, strikes Archer. No. Ah, yes! Its true name shakes the very air as it is spoken. The lance crashes into the shield. The lance of death that penetrates every wall and outmaneuvers any evasion. The lance has been stopped. Radiating a storm of heat. The Lance of Sure Kill is stopped by Archer's Noble Phantasm. Yeah. The seven flower petals appear from empty space and shield Archer from the, de from the demonic bullet. Who would know? This shield is Aeus, the only shield said to have repelled the javelin of the great hero in the Trojan War. There are seven barriers shaped like flower petals, and each layer is as strong as a castle wall. It is a boundary field noble phantasm that is said to be that is said to be invincible against projectile weapons. A thrown lance will be defeated by the shield without penetrating even one of the petals. At the very least, Archer doesn't Archer doesn't know of a lance that can penetrate the shield. But the lance of sure kill drills through the shields like it's not like it's nothing. <coughs> The sixth petal is destroyed. Only one remains. The demonic lance reaches the seventh layer that has never been broken. The unstoppable thorn of the demonic lance. In the face of that power. spirit, Archer puts all his magical energy into the Noble Phantasm. Couldn't block it entirely, but he slowed it down, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> After landing, Lancer glares at the servant in front of him. Archer has wounds all over his body. His raised arm is like a rotten branch. His face is strained in pain, not only from the wounds on the arm, but also from the agony in his head. Oh, 
君のそれはオリジナルのグングニルを上回っているただの旧兵だが君の見立ては間違いではないザレゴトを旧兵がホーグを防ぐほどの盾を持つものか場合によっては持つだろうアーチャーユーチーキーファックだがそれもこのざまだ魔力の大部分を消費したというのに腕をやられアイアスも完全に破壊されたまったく私が持ちうる最強の守りだったのだがな今のはランスラオンリーグレアズ・アーチャー then それより気づいたかランサーキャスターめ存外に苦戦していると見えるこちらに向けられていた監視が止まったアーチャーレイズズボーテスハンズズフンスレンダーそうかよそうじゃねえかとは思ったけどなてめえ元からそういう腹か無論だ言っただろう勝率の高い手段だけを取るとフンとことん気に食わねえ野郎だなてめえ Saying so Lancer turns his back to Archer His work is done His role of keeping Archer busy is meaningless now There's no more need for him to side with Tosaka Rin Oh he wasn't called back he was just oh He just didn't feel like helping. Oh, okay. The Spearman in blue starts to walk away and. lays down on the grass to wait and see. <laughs> 